Woo. LD, WMMAC, this is your boy, The Coach, you live, live, live on The Coach, Show, The Coach, Show, live. Man, salute to all my real ones on that live stream last night. Salute to the real ones. Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going I'm to put this out like this. I'm going to give my four thoughts on Casey O'Neill versus Jennifer Maya. Now, my thoughts about Casey O'Neill are different from the majority of the WMMA universe. Um, a lot of the WMMA universe believe that Casey O'Neill is overrated. Well, I think Casey O'Neill is underrated. In fact, I think Casey O'Neill is a hell of a fighter. I think she can fight. Now, what Casey O'Neill needs, okay, she needs that fight. She needs a fight against an opponent who's, you know, not on their way out to UFC, okay, who not broken down, okay, she needs, she needs a fight. She needs a fight, a top fight, a top tier fight top 10 top five opponents she needs somebody okay to get in there i'm talking about a real true top 10 top five opponent okay somebody who not all broken up okay i mean we know antonina been injured for most i mean for really a good part of her mma career she's been injured okay and and she's lost a step okay so she's not even a shell of who she once was and we know roxanne mata ferry had two bad knees so we need okay she needs an opponent she needs an opponent that's all she needs but i think casey o'neill is a good fighter and i think if she fights jennifer maya okay she got my vote let's fight for the belt okay i mean hell let's think about it like this all these other fighters you know there are several fighters they don't even want to fight for the belt i mean they're running around here talking about they need a tune-up fight they need this fight they need that fight that there's only a handful of fighters in the flyweight division that's actually saying, you know what, I want to fight for the belt. Hey, I need to fight for the belt. There, there's a handful of fighters. Folks, that's it. And Casey O'Neill would be one of the fighters. I know if Casey O'Neill could defeat Jennifer Maya, she would say, hey, it's my time. Give me my title shot. Valentina, where you at? I know Casey O'Neill would do this. Okay, um, I think Casey O'Neill is underrated. I think she can. Uh, her wrestling is extremely well. Here's what Casey O'Neill is going to run into problems. Jennifer Maya can do it all. Okay, she's very well-rounded. Jennifer Maya is extremely well-rounded. Okay, and this is going to prove to be, like, very difficult for Casey O'Neill. Jennifer Maya knows how to wrestle. She can grapple. I think Casey O'Neill has better wrestling than Jennifer Maya. But, man, I think Jennifer Maya's jiu-jitsu is better than Casey O'Neill's. So, Casey O'Neill is going to have a problem. If Casey O'Neill can't conceivably get this fight to the ground she's in a lot of trouble okay if she can't conceivably get this fight to the ground Casey O'Neill is in a hell of a lot of trouble and that kind of stuff you know with me it's pretty much like hey (laughs) like what Casey gonna do like Casey gonna get hurt messing with Jennifer Maya if she can't you know stand and you know to me Casey O'Neill's stand up is, is just not that good Okay, it's never been that great. She's gonna have to. She's gonna have to have enough stand up to balance it out. Now, she may not have the kind of stand up that Jennifer Maya has. Okay, then she might can't go mano a mano with Jennifer Maya. Okay, I'm pretty sure she probably will have a tough time doing that. However, she don't need that much. You know, all Casey O'Neill's gonna need is is a really really tight jab, a tight jab, a very tight jab. And just enough to jab her way in so she can try to get this fight to the ground. That's what need to happen. Casey O'Neill just need a jab, a decent jab. Then she can't be flat-footed. Another thing about Casey O'Neill, she's flat-footed. Jennifer Maya is very mobile. Okay, she's going to move in angles. And Casey O'Neill tends to go straight ahead. Okay, she she tends to go straight ahead or back and forth. And so that that game plan, trying to go straight at Jennifer Maya, that's not going to work. Casey O'Neill is going to have to somehow figure out how to stop being flat-footed, get up on the balls of her feet, and start jabbing Jennifer Maya at an angle so she can, you know, she can really disguise these takedowns. And that's going to be the name of the game for Casey O'Neill, disguise the takedowns. Um, Now, let's just be realistic. Jennifer Maya can't stay away from Casey O'Neill the whole fight. Casey O'Neill is eventually going to get in and get close to Jennifer Maya. She is. That's just what it is. The octagon ain't so damn big, okay? She's going to be able to get into... She's going to be able to get close to Casey O'Neill. I mean, I'm sorry. Casey O'Neill is going to be able to get close to Jennifer Maya. But honestly, I don't know if I see Jennifer Maya backing up or if I see Jennifer Maya actually, you know, trying to go in and try to, you know, take the fight to Casey O'Neill. I don't know. 
But Casey O'Neill can maul you to death. That's her strong point. If Casey O'Neill grab hold of you and she puts you against that cage, that's pretty much she's going to maul you. But I don't know because when I look at Casey O'Neill physique and I look at Jennifer Maya, Jennifer Maya is very, very thick and she's very strong. Her hips are extremely strong. And so now when you're trying to, you know, throw somebody around with them strong hips, it's going to be tough. Okay, this, this not, it's not Roxanne Montefiore. It's not, you know, Antonina, who, you know, Casey O'Neill was stronger than those two. I think Jennifer Maya is physically stronger than Casey O'Neill. And, and people, we got to understand, having great technique can be something. It can be great. But, guys, we also have to include being strong. Okay, because people out here with poor technique, they're just not strong. I mean, they're strong as hell. And they can manage to get the upper hand in a lot of fights. I mean, how many times have y'all seen Jessica and Andrade get in there and get the upper hand against somebody who's much, much more skilled than she is? I mean, how many times have y'all seen that? I've seen Jessica Andrade do it a whole lot of times. I've seen her do it so many times it's not even crazy. Jessica Andrade ain't skilled, but she's stronger than the majority of her opponents. So Jessica is able to just go in there and just pick up the person no matter what skill set. I mean, it's what, you know, Jessica did at the Rose. Jessica did it to Rose. I think Rose was trying to get, like, put a guillotine on Jessica. And that a guillotine is a skillful technique. Man, Jessica just said, nope, forget about that guillotine. Pick Rose up and slam Rose on her head. But that's the nature of somebody who's, who's physically just very, very strong. Okay? And you guys have to understand that. You guys got to see it. So Jennifer Maya is very physically strong. Okay? I mean, she was able to actually get on top of Valentina and actually keep Valentina, you know, for half of a round. And Valentina's strong. That Valentina Shevchenko, she got some of the best, like, you know, like you put Valentina on her back. Valentina is very good at getting back to her feet. Her and Juliana Pena are the best at doing that. Um, and so she was able to keep Valentina Shevchenko on her back for a period of time. So you can imagine a person who's strong enough to do that, they're strong. Okay? So I just think that Casey O'Neill will suffer in the strength department. It's going to be a hell of a fight, though. Either way, and it, it may, to me, maybe fight of the year, okay? I think Jennifer Maia and Casey O'Neill got the ability to make fight of the year. But, you know, here's the thing, though, okay? Here's the thing. Can Casey O'Neill take a punch? Now, see, that's going to happen because Jennifer Maia is going to hit you. Jennifer Maia got great takedown defense. And Jennifer Maia, she ain't gonna, she's not going to shy away from the wrestling. She ain't going to do that. She's not going to shy away from being on the ground. I mean, the damn girl's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. She ain't shying away from the ground. You take Jennifer Maya down and put her on her back, she's totally comfortable there. She's extremely comfortable. She don't mind being there. Okay, a good jiu-jitsu practitioner, they don't care about being on their back. And a lot of these jiu-jitsu folks, they know how to operate from their back. They operate from their back very, very well. So, I mean, she's not going to be afraid. Casey O'Neill has one, has one thing going for her, but Jennifer, Jennifer Maya got three. Okay, so already Casey O'Neill is down. I mean, what is, what is Casey going to you know, be able to work? You know, what is she going to be able to work? How much time is it going to take her to get her stand-up at least even remotely good enough to where she can even jab her way to try to get this fight to the ground? I see Jennifer May winning this fight, okay? Like, straight up, I see Jennifer May winning the fight. However, I do see in Casey O'Neill having some heart. I see Casey O'Neill having a lot of heart and making this a tough fight. But I can't see her winning it. 